Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for well, our second hot topic, which is a woman who is looking to cook for charity and also break a Guinness World Record in the process. And that is the person of Grace Wokobia. She's the chef of Grace's Gourmet Kitchen. Good morning, Grace. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so um, I was talking to you earlier and I was saying congratulations are in order because you were making an attempt to break the Guinness World Record. We've seen that, um, you know, with the case of Hilda Bassi who did that for Nigeria and she broke the record. And now you're also looking to make that attempt but from your own kitchen and also cooking for charity in the process as well. And so my first question to you is what inspired all of this um, for you to say, yes, this is what I want to do, or this is the next step for me, for me to be able to break the Guinness World Record and also cook for charity? Because, I mean, that is a very commendable um, act. So what inspired you? Okay, thank you so much. Um, you know, how, how do I put it? So in my business, I always like, give out to people. So that was during um, the answers, for example, I give out food at the Kito Gate. I also give out food at Alonsa. Um Also on my birthdays, I always go out to um, orphanage homes and, you know, just give them. Just the, it's not really an inspiration, but it's, it has been a part of me that just to give to people, just to give back to my community. That's always been a part of me and I wanted to include this with my record attempt. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, that is really sweet. I mean, if that's your lifestyle, it is great because we always tell people it's good to be able to give to charity. Um, it's good for you to be a philanthropist and in your own little way, that's what you're doing. So um, I want to ask, what is a specific record you're trying to break at this point and what is your goal for this? Okay, so it's the Guinness World Record for Home Kitchen Cooking Marathon by an individual. So the record is different from um, Hilda's own. Yeah. It has not been broken since 2018, and um, the last record holder was Ricky Lumpkin, and he broke it for, I think, 68 hours, 30 minutes, mm. and I intend on doing it like six hours nonstop. So I will surpass that record. It has not been broken um, by anyone since 2018, and mm. yeah, I just say it as an opportunity to, you know, include a lot of. Uh, wishes to this attempt as well. So I'm not just doing a world record attempt. I'm also doing it for a purpose or few like purposes because I have a lot of things out to do with this attempt. That's fantastic. Well. That's fantastic. So okay. what preparations have you, you know, put in place for this to ensure that you are ready? Because I know that um, physically you have to be ready as well, mentally, spiritually, um, in every way you need to be ready for this. So what preparations have you made? Hello. Oh, sadly, we've lost her. Okay. Grace, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. Let's work, sorry. Okay. So I was just asking, what preparations have you made? Because I know that with things like this, you need to be prepared. Um, not just physically. I mean, you need to have the stamina, obviously. But then mentally, um, spiritually, in every aspect. So what preparations have you made? Okay, um, like you said, physically, I'm working on my health, I'm working on, you know, getting fit, because what I do, I'm a home cook, so, like, cooking is a part of me, mm. I cook food, I deliver, so, like, standing non-stop for four hours, eight hours, it's like, it's not, it's not like, like this is not an issue for me, so I'm already, like, imbibing that, so, health-wise, I'm working on it, spiritually, I'm working as well, um, just, I'm trying to get everything together, the, with the sponsorships, um, mm. the company um, sponsorships, just everything. That's everything, really. Mm. I mean, so that even leads to my next question would be what kind of support are you looking for at the moment? And, you know, also, how do you plan to involve the community um, and just engage with your audience at this time? Because this is this is an amazing thing that you're doing. So uh, what type of support do you need people to offer to you? Um, and how do you just hope to engage with everyone? Okay, so for um, the community support is that while I will be cooking, so we're giving out food items to people on the streets. 
So where the home I'm going to be cooking at, the um, kitchen apartment I'm going to be cooking at. So we're looking at um, people around the area. We're giving um, food to the homeless. We're giving um, food to people on the streets. So we're packaging like rice, curry beans in Ziploc bags and they're sharing it. Mm. So my team is going to be out there. Yeah, my team is going to be out there sharing this food while I cook um, in the apartment that I am in. So they are transporting to the street and they are sharing the food. They are sharing water, they are sharing um, raw food items to people on the street. So, uh, um, yeah, so we are engaging the community around. And also for online audience, I will need a whole lot of support for online audience because my dry run is on the 29th of this month mm. and um, I'll need a lot of um, engagement online. I'll be streaming live on all uh, my platforms, your biggest um, Shepard's official on Instagram. I'm going to be streaming live and I'll need a whole lot of online support from Nigeria. And also through this live, um, we, I'm going to be choosing home cooks. So we're also giving out to home cooks that are struggling in their business. We're giving out non-stick pots. Uh, mm. blenders, we're giving out nice sets to like six home cooks house, um, home cooks that are struggling in their businesses so we need to engage them as well I've gotten two already but I need four more home cooks that need like the basic things for their big businesses, they want to start a business you can always reach out to us GDK of Lagos if you need like a nice set, port air fryer, gas burner so we're going to give this things out to people that are struggling in their businesses that's amazing um so you got me when you were talking about sharing the food and i'm like i hope i'm invited because i definitely want to come taste your cooking and, and i'm sure everyone who's going to taste it would be happy about that um yeah. but, go ahead <laughs> <I didn't... laughs> so the thing is that the uh, amount of people that in attendance is limited okay so the amount of people is limited but um, you can just come out of your apartment and just you know you can come in and watch me during your time nigerians can come as well but they will be able to yes, come into because the it's a kitchen apartment. so there will be a place downstairs where you can always just come and sit and watch your tent and eat food okay don't worry I'm, sh I'm sure we'll try to be there plus tv will try to be there to just you know cheer you on while you're cooking because you always need that chair really um and it just kind of sort of motivates you to even do yeah, more right. and yes <laughs> go ahead go ahead yes i do okay we'll, we'll we'll try to be there to motivate you so my final question to you now is um what Sorry, I didn't hear you. okay I, I was saying that we'll try to be there to you know motivate you cheer you on and you know just give you that support that you need and now my Thank final you. question you're welcome my final question to you is so what impact do you think this would have um on your career as a chef and even the culinary world as a whole so what impact what's your hope for this um uh, this guinness world record you're trying to break and then obviously the charitable um you know just being charitable to the community around you what impact are you hoping that this would have i know you're having a dry run first before you now make that at attempt but yes what are you looking to get from all of this um i mean like nigeria is already on the map and it's so hard to put nigeria again on the map because i'll be making a whole lot of Nigerian food as well. I'm making Jamaican food. I'm making Ghanaian food. So basically, um, the main purpose of this attempt is for my home folks, people that are struggling in their mm -hmm. businesses. They just want to get it right. You know, they just want to start a food business. They don't know how to. It's just like being an inspiration to um, home folks in Nigeria. Being an inspiration to those that want to be chefs, those that want to be um, in the food scene as well, those that want to be content creators. And also, while impacting our generation, of course. So, just to reach out to people, know that you can do it. You want to start that business. I've been doing this business for a very long time and uh, trying to find um, your niche and hmm. purpose can be very hard, but that doesn't mean that you stop there. Just, you know, just keep on keeping on. Hmm. That's fantastic. We want to say congratulations to you. Um, I hope that you're successful in all of your endeavors and, you know, breaking this record while well, making the attempt or the dry run would be fantastic. And then when you go into the attempt, you would break and even surpass the record. So congratulations are in order for you by the grace of God. Thank you.
You're Thank welcome. You so much. All right, have a nice day. Um, we've been speaking with Grace Wonkobia. She's the chef from Grace's Gourmet Kitchen. And we've just been talking to her about our attempt um, to break the Guinness World Record and also cooking for charity as well. This is where we ended on the show today. It's been an amazing ride with you. Thank you for having a breakfast with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again on Monday. My name is Rome Paulson. Have an amazing weekend.